Hey guys, Tara here with the Hobby Lobby Creative Studio. It seems like there's a birthday or a holiday around every corner, which means there's always gifts to be wrapped. So today, I'm gonna show you a couple ways to do that. One in a bag, and another in a box. Let's start with the super simple bag and tissue paper method. Simple doesn't have to be plain though. One look at all the gift bags and tissue paper available and you can see why. Pick out a coordinating bag and tissue paper, making sure there's plenty of room for both the tissue paper and your gift. I like to wrap some tissue paper around my gift before putting it into my bag to keep it extra hidden from any prying eyes or sneak peeks. All right, it's time for the fluffy tissue paper top. Spread your paper out, rotate the top sheet, then pinch the top two sheets in the middle and pull up. Now fluff it like this. You can just tuck this into your bag as is or twist the middle a few times. It almost creates a stem, which makes it easier to stick it into the bag just where you want it. Now, one color is great, but multiple colors is even better. So try layering tissue papers, offsetting them a bit like this. Then follow the same steps of pinching in the middle, pulling up, fluffing, and twisting. It's so simple and the look is incredible, am I right? Add tissue paper until you like the look of your gift and you're done. All right, now let's try wrapping a box. I've got a few simple tricks to show you that'll take the look of your gifts to a whole new level. First, to get the right amount of paper for our gift, I'm going to roll out the wrapping paper right side down on a flat surface and place the package on top. Now, I'll pull this loose end over the present until it reaches the bottom of the box on the opposite side. See that? Okay, now on the roll side of the paper, I'm measuring about three inches out from the box and cutting the paper there. This will give us enough to go around the belly of our gift with a little overlap. We need to get the right amount for each end of the package now. So I'll bring the bottom edge of the paper about three quarters of the way up on one end of the gift. I can let that go and take the same distance from this side of the box and add it to the paper on the opposite side of the box. These grids printed on the back of the paper are so handy for approximate measurements like these. All right, now just cut off any excess paper and we're ready to start folding. I like placing the paper seam on the edge of the box instead of the middle because it gives your packages an extra clean professional look by being less visible. But of course, you can place the seam wherever you'd like. To get the seam on the edge, we'll first place the package top side down and wrap the paper around the box like this, going past the top edge by about an inch. You can let that go and tape the other edge of the paper onto the box. Grab the other side of the paper again, and let's use the edge of the box here to make a light crease in the paper. Then I'll fold the paper under on that crease to hide the raw edge. Okay, we're just about done. Pull the paper snugly around the box and tape it down with some double-sided tape. If I've done this correctly, the edge of the paper should be flush with the side of the box and just about invisible. Yep, I got it. Now here's the part where we fold the ends of the wrapping. Start by pushing in the side of the paper like this. See how the inner fold lines up with the edge of the box and the outer edge forms a 45 degree angle? That's what you're shooting for. I'm going to crease the folds really well here so that the paper lies as flat as possible and repeat this on the other side. Okay, now I can fold the top flap down and tape it to the box. Just regular one-sided tape is good here. Next, fold over the raw edge of the bottom flap so it's nice and clean. Use double-sided tape when you attach this little guy to the box. All right, now just repeat that on the other end of the box. And for the final touch, I'm going to finger press the edges with my thumb and pointer finger. See that? It gives the whole box a nice crisp look. You're all set and ready to wrap away. Of course, you're gonna need bows too, so be sure to join me for our gift bow videos. There, I'll show you how to make pom-pom, layered, and classic bows. Have fun wrapping all of your gifts, and I'll see you next time at the Hobby Lobby Creative Studio.